So my name is Sophie de Oliveira Barata and I'm the director of the Alternative Limb Project, which was set up in August 2011. Um, we make a realistic looking uh, prosthetics, but also more alternative ones. That's really down to the amputee, it's their imagination, and then we kind of create it and make it happen. My name is Veronica Piet, I'm an above the knee amputee and I work together with the Alternative Limb Project um, on creating a very nice alternative cover for my prosthetics. I had a really bad accident in about 2010 so I had to have my leg amputated above the knee and I was fitted with a prosthetic after about a year in the hospital. With time when you learn to walk with it you also think about the actual aesthetics and how it's going to look and that becomes important to you um, and that's when I started thinking about kind of covers and um, alternate limbs. I met Sophie through my prosthetist and I was aware that she was making um, these realistic looking um, covers and also that she's making alternative covers so that it doesn't necessarily have to emulate the human body. It can be something um, completely true to itself, which is that it's a, an electronic um, leg. It's going to be very much cyborg inspired. Um, it'll be a nice metallic finish. It will have a nice little secret compartment and a little button that allows it to light up. So I'm going for the very futuristic cyborg look. I didn't want to go around pretending that it was my own leg. I didn't want to feel like I need to cover this up. I need to make out like it's, it's not a prosthetic leg. I didn't want that. I wanted, I mean, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that it is a prosthetic leg. I think just the fact that I can walk on it um, so well and that I can function so well, um, I think that's, that's a great thing. So I wanted it to be true to itself and look like a prosthetic leg, but a very cool one and a very futuristic one. You know, initially the project started off with just kind of playing around with the ideas of making something look alternative, just in style. But now we're kind of looking at alternative functions as well. So whether that would be an arm that you could plug your kind of um, your iPhone in, or you could lift up your leg and use it as a keyboard and plug that in um, to, to a computer. It's also a way of expressing yourself and a way of expressing perhaps your confidence about the leg and the fact that you're not, you don't want to hide it, you want to show it off. Um, and it's a piece of body art, really. The most common response um, that I've had from, from a client who's kind of worn their alternative limb out um, is that for them it's really refreshing because other people, they're seeing something that's there as opposed to what's missing. So I actually just got this leg today, so great opportunity to show it off. <laughs> Sophie just finished it this afternoon, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to stay seated because it's easier to show, really. So this is it. I'm very happy with it. Um, basically, it has a little secret compartment. We are really looking um, to go into the cyborg look, and I'm fully embracing the fact that I'm kind of becoming a cyborg. Um, it's definitely a better alternative to being disabled. In fact, I think um, the term disabled needs a rebranding, really, because I think when you're labeled as disabled, you think, oh, well, you can't do this or you can't do that. But when you think, well, actually, I'm not disabled, I'm enhanced and I'm a cyborg, that, that just gives you a whole new outlook and it really just helps your confidence. And I think one of the biggest things as an amputee that you need to overcome is that psychologically you're looking at yourself thinking, oh my God, I've lost a limb, how am I gonna cope with this? How am I gonna look at myself again thinking um, about confidence? So I think it's definitely important for it to be aesthetically nice as well. So um, it has a little secret compartment, um, which I haven't really decided yet what I'm gonna keep in there, but any ideas are welcome. <laughs> um, there's also a little button that I can light up with it. It's not a very strong light, but I can alternate between a couple of different um, colors. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If anyone has any questions, let me know. For, for Veronica, I want to ask you, to be put on a panel on human enhancement, Yep. with respect, how does that feel the idea that we're, we're framing this inside of the, the idea of enhancement? For you, is it an enhancement as such, or is it about the aesthetics? Well, it's, um, it's definitely um, 
it definitely gives you choices as an amputee. I'm not sure if, if it's an enhancement uh, to your own leg. I mean, my own leg is always going to be working better than this one. But um, it's, it's definitely an enhancement as opposed to being an amputee who's in a wheelchair or has an uh, NHS leg. So I think um, um, it is an enhancement. And what sort of, I mean, you, you saw the response here. Everyone was desperate to, to kind of look at the leg and engage with the leg. Yeah. How, how are you going to deal with those responses going forward? Well, afterwards, I'm happy to um, show it to everybody who's, uh, who'd like to, <laughs> like to have a closer look. The, the, the only reason I ask is because I know in conversations with, with Neil, um, sometimes at these transhuman events, and apologies if this turns into one of those, um, the, the <laughs> yeah, okay, hold on, not yet. Um, I know that some amputees who, or people experimenting with self cyborgization can feel like they're almost being put on stage as the examples of this stuff. And, and how does, I mean, you're quite new to engaging these debates. I mean, how does. Well, I think it's a good thing because I think when amputees are um, faced with their new kind of life, um, it's, it's a very good thing to know that you have options in terms of aesthetics and that you have um, really good prosthetics available. When I first um, lost my limb, I thought, well, I'm probably going to be in a wheelchair forever. Ever. I didn't even realize that there were such high-tech prosthetics and especially not that you can get all sorts of really nice covers. So for me personally, that's when I started becoming kind of, I started accepting it when I started seeing other people as well with um, kind of nice looking prosthetics and I think it's a good thing.